and welcome to another edition of Lab Rats. My name is Andy Walker. I'm Sean Carruthers. And this is the show where we demystify technology and kind of give you the skinny of what's going on out there in te the technology world. And of course today, breaking news, breaking news. Thank you for the sound effect. Uh, so Apple just announced the brand new uh, version of their famous iPad, the tablet that they uh, launched last year in 2010. Mm -hmm. um, I guess we came, we saw the announcement was it yesterday. I guess so. Here we're here in the studio. You're probably seeing this on a Monday night or beyond a Monday night, and uh, and so we just thought we better get this out real quick because when, Sean tells me that when he was in San Francisco last week at the Palm event, you actually met with Apple and they gave you a prototype. Yeah, I uh, made the trip down to uh, to Cupertino and uh, you know. How do you swing that? Like this? Like nobody else has one of those. Well, you know, I've got a long-standing relationship with Apple and. Okay. Uh, you know, we, we go way back. So, so we're going to see this uh, after we're the break. See it. I'll show it to you. Fantastic. Okay, there you go. So an exclusive look at the uh, new iPad 2 here on Lab Rats today. Mm -hmm. Very excited. So let's take a break. When we come back, iPad 2 demystified. <laughs> and welcome back to Lab Rats. You missed, by the way. I didn't, actually. You didn't? Oh, you, no. Did you? I, I hit the guy behind the camera. <laughs> got it. Perfect. Okay, good. All right, so we're about to show you the iPad 2. Um, Sean's got his hands on an exclusive version, so uh, in a couple of minutes. I just want to talk to you a bit about our sponsor, Hover.com. So if you're looking for a domain or you're looking for internet services uh, like email hosting, your own custom uh, email address for you and your family, perhaps, you know, maybe your, your last name is Jones, you want the jonesfamily.com or .tv or whatever it is, you can actually get that from Hover.com. And so uh, they're our sister company here at 2CAS, where we, uh, we work. And uh, we just love the service. So highly recommend that you zip on over to Hover.com and check them out. See if there's a domain there you want to buy, .com, .tv, .net, mm -hmm. dot, dot .whatever. Yeah, and if the one that you want right off the bat isn't uh, available, they'll give you some alternate suggestions as there well. You go. So, so we love this service. Check them out, Hover.com. And here's a coupon for 10% off your first purchase just to give, so you can be subsidized and you know, give it a try. So that's Hover.com. Check it out. All right. All righty. OK, so I'm so excited. OK, iPad 2. Let's see it. All right, well, I, uh, I actually brought this uh, with me. It just nobody else has seen this except for you up to this point. Right. So I just want to bring it out here. There we go. So the iPad 2. <laughs> that's, that's not the iPad 2. Look at this. It, it, it totally is. Look, it says iPad 2 right on the back. <laughs> no, that, that's the, the iPad 1 prototype that we showed in the, last year when it first came out. What are you talking about? This is totally the iPad 2. Don't look too closely. <laughs> you lie. Where is the real one? Real one? Real one's still in Cupertino. Ah, oh. okay. Well, then we have to. Well, then so we have to use that yeah, one. Yeah, we'll we'll use this and sort of simulate the experience that we'd have uh, gotten. Okay. All right. So, okay. So, does it look like this? Oddly enough, it does. It looks pretty much the same. It's uh, got the same size screen, uh -huh. the same resolution screen. Uh -huh. um, it's a little bit thinner though, about thirty-three percent thinner, and because of that, about. Uh, 0.2 pounds lighter, which is about 15% uh, lighter. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. we're going to have to simulate that. So there we go. There we go. 33% lighter. Seam lighter too and thinner? Thinner. A little. Oh my god. I didn't really think the episode was going to go this way. I'm very disappointed in you, Mr. Crothers. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? All right, we've got to make the best of it. All right, so, so it's 33%, so it's thinner. It's thinner. I, I got your point. Thank you for bringing out our very important prop. Yeah. Um, it's 15% lighter, meaning so they've managed to shave off. I think I damaged the CPU. <laughs> uh, OK, speaking of the CPU, so let's talk about the guts. What's inside of this new iPad 2? OK, so the, uh, well, let's stand this up. And I know we're just pretending that this is it, but whatever. It kind of looks like this. So it has, uh, the previous uh, generation made use of uh, Apple's new A4 processor, which was uh, technology that they got from another company, brought it in-house, and got rid of uh, the outside suppliers for this. They've since moved on on the iPad 2 to the A5 processor. It's still a gigahertz processor, but now it's dual core. So the processor goes in here somewhere? Yeah, you, you push it in through the hole that you create with the fire extinguisher. The fire extinguisher. Okay, good. So the A5 processor. A5 so is, processor. So it's a dual core one gigahertz processor? One gigahertz. So, so it's, that means twice as fast, right? Not necessarily. So typically when you uh, do a dual core, you get 
definitely increased performance, not necessarily exactly twice as fast because of all the other stuff that's involved inside there. Now, what we can say about it is it's... It's like two brains, no? It's, it's like two brains, yeah. so it, it is it's able to handle things better. It it's isn't... It's not like one, two gigahertz processors, it's two, one gigahertz, so they can do... You can multitask better, probably. You can multitask better, and uh, it... Uh, yeah, so you can have one thing running on one core and another thing running on the other core, so it's not bogging down every time you have more than one application running. Okay. The, the other thing that is involved in the guts of that because of the new processor is uh, better uh, video capabilities. And they're saying nine times the video uh, speed on this. It's a video refresh, so it's like a better gaming experience? Yeah, better gaming experience. So like the, the resolution of the screen is still the same. It's still 1024 by 768, so you're not getting any bigger a picture. People were speculating on the retina display. That didn't happen on this, maybe later. But it will make it faster in terms of the pixels that you already have there, mm -hmm. and actually uh, allows you to push HDMI out the bottom of the uh, iPad now using a special adapter. Okay. Okay, good. Well, let's talk about that a little bit more in a minute, because I know that mm -hmm. at least let's make this look like the iPad 2. Apparently, there's a white version. They yeah, have, like, so a white it's, bezel. it's available in both black and white, so we actually have uh, so a new white bezel that we're going to stick to it here. So it, it still does come in the same old black, and uh, it does come in white as well. So. I mean, this is not exactly the most scientific. I mean, just, just be thankful that I'm not doing this with liquid paper. That would have taken a long time, and it would have kind of smelled really. It would have really. taken up the entire episode. It would have taken up the entire episode, and I think I'd have been a bit loopy by the end of it as well. OK, so there we go. There's our new white iPad. So sad. OK, well, at least it looks a little bit more like the, OK, good. I got it. OK, so new yeah. processor. It's got, a, it's got a nine times faster graphics accelerator in it. Mm. It's got a white bezel. Yeah, and it's worth noting that it still has the metal on the back, minus, of course, the uh, fire extinguisher marks. And uh, so it is still metal on the back. It's still got the, uh, the black mark up here, like the black uh, section for the antenna if you've got the 3G. So it does still come in both 3G versions and Wi-Fi only versions. Uh -huh. It has a bigger speaker grill on the bottom. Um, but otherwise, the back is um, still metallic, like the, the previous generation. Got it. Okay. okay. Anything else inside it? Like, apparently, there's some sort of gyroscopy thing. Yeah, so there is a gyroscope uh, that's on board for better gaming experience. So add that to the better video performance, and uh, you definitely have a machine that's much better at uh, gaming. But I think the one thing that a lot of people were really hoping for and uh, was delivered on uh, the new generation that's inside it is cameras. So we thought maybe there'd be a front-facing camera for uh, video conferencing. Well, let's, uh, let's add that on, first of all. So we've got a, a video camera on the top. Oh, I forgot to put the, the button on the bottom. OK, so there we go. So we've got the, the video camera up top now. That's a VGA camera, so 640 by 480 resolution. So you can do uh, FaceTime conferencing back and forth between this and the iPhone, for example. So they've added FaceTime capability. They've added FaceTime capability, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. But they've also added on the back, and I forget which side it is. Let's, let's say this side. There's a, a camera on the back that does 720p. So it may vary from reality. Our demonstration here may vary slightly from reality. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, I think so. OK, got it. Does it have a flash, at least? Oh, you, you're, you're saying now that this may differ from reality? <laughs> it does not have a flash. It does not have a flash, OK. And it okay, still good. doesn't play flash. All right, I got it. It still doesn't play flash, right? On. OK, so, yeah. so what else? You said, you said there's, uh, you're going to talk about HDMI a bit later and also FaceTime. When do you want to talk about those? Well, let's talk about the HDMI uh, thing right now, because that's one of the accessories that uh, is available for this. It doesn't come in the box, but uh, in the past, you were able to push video out of the iPad using a special adapter. But it was typically only, only uh, certain things. So you play a movie and you could send it out via, you know, a regular video stream to your television. Mm. So as you know, HDMI, of course, is that connector that most modern high definition televisions have to connect external devices, right? So HDMI is a high definition multimedia interface. I think it is, right? High definition multimedia, multimedia interface. interface. So I was just grabbing the. Uh, uh, an example of the the cable that you could have. So, again, the the old school one, it would have uh, it would have this on one side, uh -huh. would be uh, the the universal 30 pin connector, uh -huh. and then on the other end, you'd have uh, something out like this to go to components. So that was what you had before through the regular iPad. So uh -huh. wouldn't send out a great great picture, but but now you will have an HDMI out that you can plug. Yeah. you can interface with directly. Yeah. So on on the bottom here, oh, I forgot to draw you on the. You can draw it. Draw it. So. Okay, let's draw the connector on. So that's on the usual place right down there, yeah. and you just plug in the uh, this HDMI cable available for thirty nine dollars, and it uh, will mirror out the display. The the one nice thing about the HDMI adapter that we did see is. Uh, 
in addition to the HDMI connector on the bottom of the dongle, there's also space to plug in your regular power, so you can still keep it powered even while it's connected via HDMI. You didn't see this in California. I didn't. Did you see this on the web? I, I, I saw this during the press conference. But you were sitting here in Toronto. I was sitting here in Toronto. <laughs> Don't remove all the magic from this. Okay, keep going. I'm going to make the best of this episode. <laughs> okay, so speaking of uh, accessories, oh. one of the other things they introduced uh, when they launched and made the announcement for this was something called smart covers. Now you uh, know about uh, the covers that people have been putting on their iPad. They've got sleeves, they've got uh, little folio style cases that they're wrapping protectors. around the whole thing. <laughs> Rubberized protectors. I know you have a silicone sleeve around the outside We're of yours. Yeah. Now what they have in this new generation for smart covers is a magnetic attaching um, cover. It basically attaches onto the side, and I'm not going to simulate this, but it attaches onto the side, auto aligns with magnets. It's got magnetic uh, connectors. connectors inside the iPad already. Uh -huh. So this auto aligns to it, and then it's got uh, a fold down screen that goes on there. And then again, there's magnets to keep it in place on the top of the screen. It's got a microfiber cloth. Magnets is an innovation? I guess. Apple, come on, this is like a discount update, I think. Okay, but but it's got a microfiber cloth on the inside of the screen Ooh. that cleans it yeah. when you co cover it. It uh, has a sensor on there that tells when you're closing that thing and automatically turns off the iPad so it's not sitting there using up power or generating heat uh, okay. when the screen cover is closed. So it has a sensor that automatically turns right. it off. Okay. And, okay, so that's cool. And it, not only that, but this one cover, it's just basically a cover on the front. It folds up again, flips around the back, and then becomes a stand. Okay. So that's it's, Two points it's, for being cool. it's not bad. Okay. Now the downside is it's got a microfiber cover. It's got a microfiber cloth really inside, exciting. which cleans your screen. So you, how many how many times do you have to clean it yourself? Uh, a lot. I just have a cat. I just put tuna on it, and the cat licks. It. Remind me never to touch your uh, iPad ever again. Um, it's clean. So, anyways, you will want to protect the back of it potentially. So you may still want another case. But if you if all you ever want to do is just cover the screen and protect that. Mm -hmm. This is a cool okay. way to go. 39 okay. bucks for the polyurethane version, available in five different colors. $69 for the leatherized version, and that's, again, available in five different colors, but they're leather colors. Okay. Whatever that means. Innovation. Okay, yeah. good. All right, it's a new case. What else? What about software? Uh, well, the, I guess the, the big thing is um, not uh, software first, but firmware. So they have updated the version of iOS, which is the operating system that runs on the iPhone and the iPad. So uh, at the same time, they're launching uh, version 4.3, which adds FaceTime, which we talked about. Mm. So that's the conferencing software that allows you to connect to people on Video other devices. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I can call you on this. You and you're on, uh, on your iPhone right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. iPhone to iPhone, iPhone to Mac, and now it'll be iPad to iPhone, and iPad to Mac, and vice versa. So moving on, uh, new apps. New apps. Okay. So first thing about I iOS 4, there's a couple things that it adds, and that's uh, better JavaScript uh, uh, functionality. So two times the performance is ported over the Nitro uh, JavaScript engine that it had on the Mac OS onto the iPad now. So better performance in that. Um, it also has better home sharing, so you can share things between your devices, so from iTunes on your computer to the iPad now, apparently. So you can, you can stream from your, yeah. your iTunes account on your computer. Right. To this. So if you've got content elsewhere in the house, you can stream it. Oh, so it doesn't have to live there. locally on here. Okay, good. Right. Sense. And the other cool. thing is better AirPlay functionality as well. So in the past, uh, we've been able to take something that's been playing on our iPhone, like a video or uh, an audio clip, and then transfer it over to an Apple TV, for example, or to an Airport Express, depending on what kind of content we're streaming, and then move it that way. And uh, now you have the ability to move apps over as well. So if you're playing something on the app, you can actually move that to your TV you and actually. Pause it. Well, not necessarily. If you're playing an app on your thing, you can actually watch it on your screen now as opposed to just uh, on the uh, on the so iPad. So you can actually sit there and play, but actually have it playing on the big screen. Sure. So your iPad becomes a controller for what's going on on your screen, potentially. So we'll, we'll see how they integrate that. I haven't seen any examples of that playing yet, but there's a great deal of potential in that. Okay, good. Okay, so now, software. Two other pieces of software that are uh, launching at the same time and that are designed to take use of the extra functionality on here. Number one is iMovie. So we've seen iMovie before on the iPhone. It's a very stripped down version of iMovie on the Macintosh, which is allowsing, allows you to cut uh, movies um, in a very basic way, basic transitions, basic themes. Uh, again, you've got the ability to shoot right on here. I guess you'll be using the, the 720p camera. You can tell because it's drawn in higher resolution here. Uh, 
to shoot footage and then edit directly on the screen here. So very visual method of interacting with it, and again, using their fingers and, and touch-based capabilities to move things around in the interface makes it a little bit easier than it may otherwise have. So that's, that's one of the things that's available. 499 available March 11th. The other one is GarageBand. So anybody that's a music fan, if you want to play music and, and record, uh, GarageBand available for 499 again on the iPad. Uh, on March 11th, it'll allow you to do 8-track recording. It'll allow you to use something like 250 different loops. Uh, and one of the really nice things about it is, um, you know, with uh, music instruments, you know, the harder you hit something, the different the sound you get. So, like, when you're playing a piano, it's like, dong, 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 dong. The and attack? It, yeah, the, atta okay. the velocity of the key yeah. that you're hitting. Uh -huh. So you'll have different resonances and all that. So now, that'll do that on the iPad as well by depending on how hard you hit it. Now the screen isn't pressure sensitive. It can tell that you're hitting it or touching it, but it's using the accelerometers inside here to figure out how much is this thing shaking? shaking. How hard am I being hit? Right, I got it. Yeah. So, very cool. All right. Well, mm -hmm. so I know that was that. sort of somewhat disappointing because you know you were expecting the real thing, as was I. But anyway, but here's the good news. We're going to talk about iPad 3 right after this break. So, iPad 3? Yeah, absolutely. So let's take a break when we come back. iPad 3 on? Lab rats. I better get my pencil out. <laughs> so are you, uh, you got it down to a third less, 33% less than now? Yeah, I measured it earlier. It was only about 28%. Ooh. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm still working on it. Okay. All right, well, let's talk about, uh, you know, would you buy the i Enough. Enough. <laughs> Enough. To break it. Uh, would you buy the iPad 2? That's the question, right? Is it this? Thank you. Give it to me. Thank you. It's only at 31%. Uh, I know. Would you buy the iPad 2? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I've been thinking about it. Looking like this, not so much because it's a little bit ratty. Think about it. Let's go and look at the competitor. We have a clip of the week of the uh, Motorola um, Zoom and people can decide whether they want to wait for that instead, and then when we come back, we can hear your thoughts as to whether you'd buy an iPad 2, and I'll tell you my thoughts. How's that? Okay. All right, all right. So let's take a break uh, and have a look at the clip of the week. This is uh, the Motorola Zoom that we covered at the Consumer Electronics Show, and I believe it's Andrew Moore Crispin doing the talking. So check it out, and we'll be back with iPad 2. We should you buy it, and a preview on the iPad 3. Welcome on deck, I'm Matt Harris. Hi, I'm Jay Goldman. Welcome to the A-List. Hi, welcome to Miss Download. Now, we have the front camera, as you see here. That's mainly used for video conferencing, your G-Talk, whatever you want. Get a bit of privacy, too, because you can carry this around. Now, if I may turn this. You also have the back 5 megapixel camera as well. Now, it does have a digital flash on the side as well. If you want to see the entire clip uh, about the Motorola Zoom there, zip on over to butterscotch.com. That was uh, an episode of At, and so we showed you 30 seconds there. Go look at the entire episode and get more about probably the top competitor for the iPad 2 this year. Yeah, it was just kind of funny when uh, Steve Jobs was up uh, on stage talking about the iPad 2, he made this little dig about it being the first dual-core tablet to ship in volume. Yes. And uh, I think that was a, a dig at uh, the competition that's supposedly coming out with dual core processors yeah. and their things that just haven't managed to get enough of them out into the channel yet, if at all. So oh. well, we'll see. All right. So, um, so is this something you'd buy? Are you going to like, dump your original iPad and get an iPad too? Well, I'm not really made of money right now, so probably not. Uh, there's a couple of nice touches. I, I mean, buying it in white is maybe a fashion thing that would be fun, but. It's not enough to sway me. The cameras, again, I've got my iPhone 4, which has the cameras on board, so I don't really need it for that. The GarageBand is really tempting, the ability to do that, but ultimately, I think I'm going to wait for the iPad 3. Right. So, okay, good. So, I mean, the pricing on this one is going to be very similar to the last. Yeah, it, it's going to be exactly the same. So there's going to be 16, 32, and 64 gigabyte versions of this in both Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi plus 3G. Price points will be exactly the same as they were before. Got it. Okay. Now, that said, don't spend your money yet because you may want to zip on out. Uh, oh, no, you may want to save your pennies until the, maybe the fall because mm -hmm. the rumor has it that there'll be an iPad 3 by then. That's the rumor. Um, the um, talk was is that they were going to launch this and then six months later launch the iPad 3 with, say, a retina display, so better, better uh, 
uh, way to view things, better gaming experience. They wanted to put it in there and weren't able to. Uh, I'm not sure I necessarily buy that. Um, I we'll suspect see. Well, we'll, see, we'll see probably a better screen display, right? Retina display yeah. on anyone. I think we'll probably see, they're talking about a contact technology now that allows the, the device to sit to actually do near field communication with something right. else. It'll probably be an iPhone 5 that'll be not announced probably later this year. Mm -hmm. um, uh, probably more like summer time frame, I think. We'll probably mm -hmm. spring with a summer time frame ship. So and whatever technologies that are going on inside the new um, iPhone 5 is probably going to be replicated in the, in the iPad 3. Right. Mm -hmm. That may be better screen. Of course, it already has a good screen, but that may be mm -hmm. there. Near field communications and who knows what else. Yeah. It, interesting to see. You know, obviously, we would be interested in hearing that it's coming, but they're not going to mention that so close to the launch of iPad 2. It's like, hey, it's not out yet, but there's another one coming, so uh, really, yeah. don't buy it. Yeah. They're not so. going to cannibalize the sales. Okay. Now, that said, are you going to buy it? I think so. You know, um, I've been thinking about getting an, you know, I bought the, the Wi Fi version, mm -hmm. and really, I really should have bought the Wi Fi and 3G version. But now that I'm you know, used to it and I, lo I love the device, I think I'm going to buy the iPad too. My dad really wants an iPad as well. Mm -hmm. Actually, I bought him one as the first generation. He's ready for the next one. He wants cameras and he wants better, you know, um, better functionality, faster functionality, and that sort of thing. He's mm -hmm. become a power user. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so I think we'll probably grab a couple when they come out. Okay, you going to buy one for Biff and Boo too? No, not made of money. Although my house is actually scattered with $100 bills. I just use it for, you know, cat litter. Uh, can I visit your house for a short period? <laughs> no, you can't. All right, so uh, that's it. So. Any final thoughts before we say goodbye to those lovely people out there in Lab Rats Line? Well, I can say that it's... It's going to look a lot better than this. It's going to look a lot better than that. Yeah, I hope so. I really hope so. All right, well, thanks for tuning in this week and uh, pushing play so we couldn't bring you the iPad 2. But it'd be foolish for us to be here pretending we had the iPad 2 if you weren't out there going, I wonder what's on that iPad 2. My name's Andy Walker. I'm Sean Carruthers. We'll see you next time. No, no more, no more. You're going to break it. Are you ready? Were you aiming at his head? No, I was actually aiming it over the over the light. Either way, it was the worst throw. <coughs> Ah, see, very good. It was, it was pretty close. That was pretty good.